Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing this morning? This is Todd from Weep What You Sow. Well, this morning we're gonna go around and feed the animals. Check everything out. Well, here we go. First thing in the morning, every morning. Gotta run Mr. Turkey back in. He's on the wrong side of the fence. I'm not too much worried about the guineas. They fly around, see? He knows exactly where he's gotta go. Over he goes. That thing is something else. That's every morning, y'all. And if y'all notice, we got a few chickens that are on the outside right here. Them chickens right there are roosting in that little tree. They're not getting locked up at night. They wasn't trained to go in there every night. They like, I guess they're crowded in there, so I just let them say, here's Mr. Buddy. Hey, buddy, what you doing, man? <laughs> that's our little male goat that's, he's actually loose, y'all. We got him away from the mamas. So he's out here running around everywhere. Come on, little buddy, let's go get something to eat. Hello, y'all. I'm over here getting ready to feed, let these rabbits in this extension. Let me show you what I got over here. See how I got this extension on this side? Okay, I got this pipe set up right there. This is the bridge. That pipe goes all the way through, and it comes out on this side right here, going into the rabbit colony. And what that does, y'all, is I can... I can let these rabbits in here. I'm gonna show you how this door works. And I can keep them, just let them go in there so long till they don't kill everything. See how that little door slides up? Now, them rabbits can actually go through that pipe and go back there and get them greens. I'm just gonna take this rope and set it up on the other side so I can drop it whenever I get ready. got that down y'all I put that bridge there mainly to trim their hooves when they're running across that bridge it really helps their feet a lot they usually stay in the barn and we feed them over here on this side and this is the actual pasture that they're they come in to eat so they're really used to that bridge. They run back and forth and it helps them out a lot. They get their exercise and they're trimming their feet. I don't know what that duck's got in there, but I don't know if y'all can see him. That duck just caught a mouse or something come across that duck pond. No, they ain't looking at that duck, y'all. Ah, oh, he's got a frog. Yeah, he caught him a frog, and everybody's trying to take it from him. He'll get smart in a minute, and he'll go in that water.
<laughs> uh huh. Big Daddy went and took it from him. Yeah, well, there ain't no little critter safe around here. They got a mouse run across there, or grasshopper, anything. They take them out. They enjoy that fresh stuff running. Hey, something else. They will fight and chase each other around the whole time. Well, let's go over here and feed these little baby goats. Let y'all see them. They're in the playhouse hollering and screaming right now. What do you say, Willow? What y'all doing, girls? Huh? How y'all doing this morning? Y'all hungry? Y'all hungry? Huh, Lippy? <laughs> I said, well, yeah, I'm hungry. Huh, Willow? You hungry, girl? Well, maybe they'll be happy for a little while with all that hollering and screaming. <laughs> well, nothing better than a little bit of groceries to eat, huh, girls? Yeah, this is where we're putting our hay right now for them. I had it fixed where they could go in there. I had got a little bucket in the bottom for the babies to eat. But since we got the babies in there by themselves, we're just using it for a hay rack in there. It actually works pretty good. Kind of show y'all around a little bit inside the barn. Y'all, these little latches right here on these gates, right there, are very nice, real accessible going in and out. But if you notice, I got me a pin in there. They go back and it locks. We've got a special goat named Willow, and that right there, she knows how to pull it back. She'll unlatch it, and she comes out of there. So we just dropped that little nail in there, and she ain't figured out how to get that out yet. This is inside the barn, y'all. Let's kind of show you around. This is where the bigger goats are. Our Mr. Daniel, he's actually loose. You know, we got him away from the baby girls. So he gets a little special treatment. He gets to eat right there. Y'all, if y'all know anybody looking for a little Nigerian buck, Buddy right there is still available. He's about four months old now. So he'll be ready for next year. Y'all, I'm going to go feed these cows over here. These calves, actually. We weaned these off the mamas a couple months ago, and we've just been feeding them, keeping them healthy. And when you start feeding them at the house like this, it, make, it gentles them down. They get a lot calmer and a lot easier to work with. Hello, girls. Y'all want something to eat? When I say girls, there's actually one in there. There's a little bull. I'm going to raise him up for another breeding bull for myself. What y'all doing, girls? Huh? That's the little bull right there, y'all. That's black brangus is what these are. They got a little Angus brangus cross in them. What are you doing, Miss Sonic? How you doing, girl? Huh, you wanna say hi? You gonna lick the camera? Y'all, this is what we feed in right here. See how it's got the holes in the bottom? Let's the water out. All that is, is a propane tank that we cut in half. And we got this lid right here. It's actually tied up right now. That's on hinges. And when it goes to rain, and if you got a bunch of feet in there, you can actually shut them off. My dad had these set up. 
and he'd buy a brand by bulk. And he'd come in here and fill these up, back up his truck to them all and fill them all up. And then he'd shut the lid, you know, let them eat a while and he'd just shut the lid on them. Actually worked pretty good like that. On your brand, on your brand, you can actually leave it open, let them eat pretty much all they want. Because, uh, I mean, they, they get full with it and they got to run and go get some water. And they, they, they don't hurt themselves on that brand. But when it goes to rain, and you, it works real good to you just shut the top on them. But all that is is a propane tank, and I'll explain to you how to how to do that one day, how to cut them tanks and stuff. It's it's a real art to it. We've built several different things out of them tanks. There's old propane tanks is what they are. But there's there's a trick to it. You got to know the trick to be able to cut them. It's very very dangerous till you learn how to do it. Y'all, let's go see what else we can feed. Hello, Mr. Daniel. How you doing, little buddy? Huh, really? It's okay, bud? Huh? Okay. You or did you get enough to eat? Huh, buddy? Did you get enough to eat? That's Mr. Daniel. He's a little weather. He's the first one on the homestead that when we bought the uh, girls, he was born the next day. A couple weeks later, I weathered him. And he's, we got him as a companion, companion goat, and he's not going nowhere. He's, he's part of the family. But y'all, I opened this uh, extension up a while ago, <laughs> and I had the camera set up. I'm gonna show y'all that clip, but that bunny rabbit just run over the camera. So I have to go get it. <laughs> hey, something else. Let me go get my camera. All right, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all inside here. This is where we, this is where we actually feed our rabbits. As I'm coming in here, look right here, y'all. That's some quail eggs. That's where them pheasant eggs were. I see Jared done picked them up. We fixing to ship them eggs to Cobb Hill, Jason at Cobb Hill. Let him have some pheasants over there. There's the little Bob Whites that are that are uh, laying right there. Guys, I wanted to show y'all this water. See this water down here? That's an automatic water for the rabbits. This line goes up and actually goes through my rabbit pens that I got on the outside that you rig their cages. But there was used, the older ones are used to this water right here, so they can come get fresh water right there anytime they want. And this, that's the hole right there going on the outside of the pen. We actually got the feeders in here to where when it rains and stuff, their, their feed stays good and dry. All right, y'all, I'm back in the rabbit colony now. That's the hole right there where they go inside the barn to go eat. But I want to show you all this baby duck. There's a little young rabbit right there. That's a little baby Muscovy duck. We're going to town today. I'm gonna buy some chick feed for her. Get mama taking care of her. They are so cute when they're little. That is the hole right there that goes to the extension on the other side. That, you know, the chicken's actually blocking it right now. That's what goes to the other side, to the extension on the colony. 
I haven't had no problem with the birds going through there yet, but I'm sure they'll figure it out. It's nice and cool this morning. Everybody running around playing. This little baby, y'all. <laughs> hey, gentle down in here. Some of them do. Y'all, a lot of that gentling down of these animals is spending time with them, just being around them. And also your different mothers in here are a lot more gentle than other ones. I don't see her right now. I've got a brown rabbit that usually comes get up under your feet. She's probably got babies somewhere. I hadn't seen her yet. Can look around for her. Oh, there's holes everywhere in here. See that little rabbit just come out of that hole? There ain't no telling where she's at. Well, I got two more goats I gotta go feed over there. It's a courier and Doris is over there in the other pen. I'm gonna run over there and go feed her. All right, y'all, this is the last two I got to feed over here. Go take care of these. This is actually where our, we keep our bucks at. We got them separated right now doing the breeding. That's greens are coming up in the garden. Everything's starting to wilt down a little bit. It's not supposed to still be making it. Them peppers are still going. Come on, girls and boys. Come on. Boys, come on. Come here, buddies. How y'all doing? Yeah, you had to come get y'all some loving this morning too, huh? Y'all, this is Jake and White. It's our guardian dogs here. Take care of the place. My hog dogs, a little bit of everything. But guys, I'm ending, ending this video. Just coming out here and made, made the rounds this morning and fed. Been a while since I've been off. It's probably, I don't know, 35, 40 degrees out here right now. It's a little bit chilly for Louisiana. It's a wet cold we got around here. It's really not cold, it's just that wet. Kind of goes straight through you, kind of like when the wind blows up north. It's chilly. It ain't bad. It'll, it'll turn out to be a real nice day today. Guys, if you like what you what we're doing around here, subscribe to the channel. Share us out. Got to get this out there. God bless. We love y'all. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye-bye.